as you can see here is a playlist uh, click oh, on yeah. find playlist and mm -hmm. find your batch here is a batch 39 so all video are related to your course of mm -hmm. batch 39 are here oh these three classes ours yeah yes all these, these classes belong to you understand you okay no uh, you need to just uh, open playlist not all videos you can mm -hmm. see i have created a batch or playlist for each batch understand you professor okay your batch is uh -huh. 39 and so you need to open batch 39 and uh, watch these videos uh, okay understand doctor uh, and i have another question if you yes have please time. yes please I'm going to uh, practice with my own Excel file. Uh, this Excel file is about my research topic. It is about morphological uh, measurement, dimension. Okay. Okay. I'm going to analyze it, uh, what we learned so far. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, you, need, uh -huh. you mean you want to analyze your own screen, uh, own uh, data? Mm -hmm. You want to analyze your own data? I not, not, but now, right now, I'm going to do this. Okay. Uh, therefore, I have to prepare Excel file like yours, yeah? For example, uh, Ficus file, sepal lens, or this one lens. Yes. Uh, uh, please, first, the, you, uh, you prepare your file, and then let me check. Then I will uh, suggest you or guide you uh, according to analysis. And uh, you already have a class how to arrange a data set for specific analysis. So if you want to analyze your own data, then first you need to uh, prepare a rough or a, uh, estimated or a rough uh, file. And then show me this file. Then I will guide you how to adjust this file. If it's OK, I will show you OK. Otherwise, I will suggest you uh, arrange this file like this. Mm -hmm. I understand okay. you. This, this data about uh, the bird's body measurement, morphological uh, data okay. about uh, lens, tail lens. Okay, but you lens. need but you need to share uh, Excel file with me. Then I and uh, name of analysis which you want to perform. We need like, two things. Mm -hmm. First thing is your file. Second is the analysis you want to perform. Then I will suggest you uh, how you arrange your file. In Excel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Understood. Okay. Now. Okay. Thank you. Uh, no. Uh, no two day classes uh, about for correlation analysis. Mm -hmm. In previous class, uh, you have done just uh, basic graphs, yeah. or have you done correlation? Uh, please uh, check in previous class have you uh, done correlation analysis or not i think not doctor no. okay so uh, yeah. today we will perform correlation analysis so all participants please open r studio and import ficus file and type done within chat all participants please open ficus uh, R Studio, Ficus file, and done within chat. Uh, today our topic is correlation in R. So the first question should be arised in your mind. Which package will be used for correlation? When I give you any task on R, the first question should be arised in your mind, which package will be used for this analysis. For example, today I am giving you the task correlation. The first question should be arised in your mind, which package will be used for correlation. Which packages are used for correlation. 
So my answer is you can use a lot of packages, but uh, two important packages which you can use for correlation. One is psych package, E-S-Y-C-S, psych package. And second is core plot. Core plot. You can use both these packages for creating a correlation plot. So next step, you need to confirm either these packages are found in your R studio or not. So all participants, please confirm. I first confirm psych package. Click on screen number four packages. Search here psych. PSYCI psych. Uh, you can see in my case I have this package. Please check and inform me yes or no. If you have this package, type yes. If uh, no, type no. All participants, please confirm me. No. Okay. No, you need to install this package. If you don't have this package, you need to install. Here is the install button. Click on install. Type here E S Y C I Psych. Click on install. No, uh, you can see a uh, psych package uh, appeared in your screen after successfully unpacked MD5 subject. When you get this message, uh, package psych successfully unpacked and uh, MD5 subject, uh, the psych package will appear in your screen number four. Please check and confirm, have you done this step? Okay, next step. You need to turn on this package before working on any device or any instrument. You need to turn on this package. So, uh, type library, library, within library type psych, P S Y C H psych, and uh, Press run button. You can see a tick mark appeared in screen number four. And code is run in screen number two. Okay, next step we need to write a code for correlation test. We need to uh, function core dot test. So all participants select this C O double R core dot test. It is a function of psych package. So you can see and its general formula is also given here. You need to select core dot test. Within this just you need to type the file name. Ficus and click run button. You will get an message, X must be numeric. There is an error in my case, X must be numeric. All participants, please write this step and confirm, have you get similar error, X must be numeric? Same. Okay. No, we need to check what is x must be numeric mean. It should that x mean your variable name columns in your data set. Here is a data set. Click on Ficus file. You can get your data in screen number one. It show that for correlation analysis, you need all all data in numeric form. All data should be numeric, but it shows that X must be numeric. It means there is a column 
uh, which is not numeric in our data. Check uh, bring cursor near to petal width. It shows you column one numeric with range zero to 2.6. Next, petal width, uh, numeric with range. Next, numeric with range. Uh, next, numeric with range. And last one, it show you character. It is not numeric. So here, this column is not accurate according to correlation analysis. So we, we need to remove this column. Uh, you can uh, remove uh, this column from Excel file and then import this file, but R provide you an option. You can minus this uh, column by using or by writing a script. So you just need to come on your code, type square bracket and type minus. Square bracket means column. Square bracket indicate columns. Minus five indicate now we want to remove column number five. Here is the column number one, two, three, four, five. If this column is at one position, you need to remove column number one. If it is the position of third, you need to remove uh, third position column. Okay. Now run this code again. When you run this code again, uh, you will get a correlation table. So copy this code, copy this correlation table, and share this within WhatsApp group. So all participants, please. And done this step, then I will move to the next step. Okay, now uh, you have heard a word coding. I am giving its comments or title coding. What is mean by coding? Coding means uh, code word. We can say it is code word or giving a specific name. For example, uh, there is a uh, Madam uh, Faiza Abid. I give a specific name, F.A. Madam F. There is a uh, Dr. Warren. I say D.W. D.R.W. This is the code word, coding, code, short name. Similarly in R, you can allot a short name to this code. Here is a code. If I give a short name and to this code, it is a coding. Coding is a, not a difficult thing. It is just giving the specific name to a script is a coding. For example, here is a complete script. When I give a specific name to this script, it will act as a coding. For example, I give a code. For coding, you need to type less than minus. Less and minus can be used to as equal. Uh, I give its name x, for example. So x equal this code. It is similar as you have learned in uh, matriculation or FSC classes. Uh, x equal uh, 10, y equal 20, and uh, x plus y equal when you are already solved these type of questions during your uh, childhood educations but this is the coding it, it indicates that uh, x have value 10 the word behind x is 10 the word behind y is 2 if i remove this it is a coding so here is the complete code behind this x word so if if I can say if I say uh, I give a new name or a short name to this complete script that is X it is a right correct so this is the coding or uh, giving a specific name to a code 
uh, for here is a me less than minus sign it indicate equal so i give uh, equal sign for uh, uh, to equal to uh, equal x equal four dot test ficus so when i run this code it will convert into in, into four no you need to just type run x here x have a uh, uh, code or script just type in this x it will show me the complete data set I, I close it again i remove this no i just run x it will work as so it means i give a specific name for complete code this code is just for one line uh, in our next classes uh, you may deal with the uh, codes more than one page so you need to use coding uh, to avoid uh, typing it again or copy and paste it again and again so this is the best option for yes, time saving and accuracy so now i give a code to this complete code uh, to complete script here is a script uh, I give a specific name X to this script. You can allot any name. You can allot correlation test. You can uh, take it name uh, according to your name or according to your data set as you wish you want to apply codes or names. Please run this step and type done. Okay, now again type X. After X, you need to type dollar sign. It means the result of this code is saved with the name of X. So when you click on X, after X, type dollar sign. It will show you all the columns, all the data saved in X. You can set R, R mean correlation coefficient, and type in here, adding R. R main correlation coefficient. If you need a table for correlation coefficient, type X dollar sign or you will get correlation coefficient. If you want to uh, check my, its uh, p value, type dollar sign, get p value, and then you will get. And uh, now there are a lot of other values. Uh, you can get these values according to your uh, demand or according to your requirement. If you want to add a standard error, uh, you can select SC and run this code. It will show you the standard error of this data. Okay. Now we need to draw its plot. We want to draw a plot on Ficus data set. For plot, uh, Dr. Varun, can you share your screen? Uh, Dr. Byrne, please, can you share your screen? Uh, just a minute, let me, let me, let me do that. Uh, it says I cannot share. Okay, share your screen. No, can't, can't share. Okay, uh, you need, I, I, I repeat it again. Have you run this code? Uh, uh, click on yes, it, that's, run this code. That's the one. When you run this code, you will get uh, an uh, another file in screen number three, name X. So between X and the list and sign, there's no, the, the, I shouldn't put space, right? Uh, there is no issue for, uh -huh. there is no, uh, there is no space after X. Please remove space after X, X and less than. There is no space between X and less than. Uh, still, I'm getting an error. Uh, please share this. No, no, it, no, no, it has, it has, it has the X with list of fourteen it has come. Uh, please can you share. Window three. Uh, window three is X is uh, appeared. Yes. Yes. Okay. No, you need to type type here X. Just type X for confirmation. Type X, and click on run button.
Okay, it has worked. Working? It has put... Okay. Yes. Now again, again, type X. Type X and dollar sign. It will show you the list. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's working. It's working, okay. sir. Thank okay. you. Okay, great. Okay. Now we need to draw its plot or plotting. Uh, we need to uh, click on uh, another pack uh, another functions pairs dot panels pairs uh, select this one pairs dot panels it is the function of site pairs dot panels within pair dot panel you need to type this ficus minus five copy this and paste Ficus minus five and run this. Now you will get a plot trying you air panel plot of correlation in this. Copy this plot, open, group and share. Doctor, can we repeat this process again? Uh, for correlation plot. Yeah, from uh, pairs. Pairs is a break. Uh, type oh, v a i r s. When you yeah, type, when you type pairs, it will give you suggestions. Pairs dot panel. Select this with the package name site. Pairs dot panels showing site package. Click here. Again, write your file name, Ficus. You need to type square bracket minus five and run this plot. It will show you the plot. This type done if you have done the step. Yes, yes, same with you. Also. I have done. Thank you. No, uh, you can see a plot. But if you want to see the this correlation is significant or not significant, this plot show you uh, petal width and petal length have positive correlation, while petal width and uh, sepal width is the negative correlation, while petal width and sepal length is positive correlation, 0 0.82. But it does not show us uh, this uh, correlation or values are significant or not significant. If you want to add a star for significance, just type here, add stars, S-T-A-R, stars. It shows you suggestions. Select stars, uh, dot panels, stars, and type here T. Just type here T, T mean true, and run this code. Uh, you will get a stars on this plot. What does T mean? Say T, T, T means what? Uh, please I repeat what you want to say. Uh, you mentioned that uh, we need to just type star equals T. Then you, uh, you also explain what T stands for. What does I, it mean? I am, I am explaining. Just wait. Uh, done this step. Here is a T mean. Uh, if there is a boolean type of data set, it indicates true. P R U E true mean yes. When you type true, its short is T and its mean yes. It indicates that a star equal you want to star add or no. If you type here T, it show you star. And another alternate word for this or opposite word for this is false. False mean, false uh, short is F and its mean is no. If you want, if you don't want to show this point, type here and uh, type here F. When you type here F, all star uh, will again disappear. And you can see in my plot, there is no stars, but if you type here T, it will show you significance level or stars for significance. Copy this plot and share it within group. Uh, 
all participants please and draw plots with star and without star and share with the group and type done within chat no we have done uh, correlation analysis by using a package a psych package you can also try this on your own data uh, arrange your data set according to ficus data set and then apply correlation analysis on your own data set okay no uh, you need to uh, use another package name for plot so uh, we have uh, two packages at start one is psych second is for plot so first you need to confirm for plot is found in your uh, in your r studio or not so come on packages search here for plot in my case, I have four plot package. All parts them, please confirm. If you don't have this package, click on install button and install this package. And after installation, type done within chat. I am just waiting for your reply. If you already have this package, type already have, then I will move to next step. I am just waiting for your reply. When you reply, then I will move to next. Um, now we uh, move to next step. So for correlation, you need to just type here for type core and type your file name ficus and run. It will show you x must be numeric. It's mean uh, you need to again and Scale bracket minus five and run this one. It will give me the correlation table. So all participant use another tool and for Uh, there is not C O double R, it is just C O R. Uh, Dr. Faiza, but there is a C O R core, not uh, you also need to do library for plot library for plot.
and just type cor code you will get a table okay next you need again need to do apply coding or give a specific name and uh, less and minus in our previous code we already have a lot uh, x so you can allot here y give a name y or you can also add any other name you want to add now you can see a y name argument or file uh, is created in screen number three when you click on this it will show you the table okay now uh, you want to uh, create a plots on this four plot functions Uh, core plot. Type core plot. Core plot. Here is the function name and package name is same. Core plot within core plot. Uh, you need to type file name. Here we have created a new data frame. Our correlation coefficient y and apply y comma specify method which type of method you want to apply for example you want to create circle plot type circle and run this button when you run this button you will get a plot with circle correlation plot with circle copy this plot and uh, share this within group Again, upper. No, if you want to, there is give heading circle. No, if you want to uh, create color plot, just copy this code, read code, copy, paste here, and just replace color. and it will show you the color plot c-o-l-o-r color okay again copy this code no you want to add uh, square s-q-u-a-r-e It will give you the scale plot. Uh, here is a list. When you type uh, uh, wrong spelling, it will give you a possible list which you can uh, done. For example, if I here a uh, square, I type a square, which is a wrong spelling. And this code, it will give you the list of these possible uh, correlation plots which you can perform by using this function. It is showing you correct spelling, copy, and run. Uh, there is a no uh, core, there is a core plot. But uh, there is a core plot, there is a not core. And core plot uh, is a equal uh, comma, not dot. This is a comma, this is a not dot. Please type comma, skip space, and type method. Okay. And uh, now again copy this code, paste here, replace uh, ellipses, copy from this, copy, replace ellipses, you will get ellipses plot. Again type number, copy, replace ellipses with number you will get number plot showing you the number now uh, values of your data set if you want to apply shade copy 
replace number with shape and we will get shape correlation plot if you want to get pi copy and replace and run. now you will get a uh, pi correlation plot no uh, all participants please uh, done this step I am sharing the list of name of these plots within group. Uh, you can use uh, this group. So you can use this name. Okay. Now, if you want to um, perform correlation or want to read half plot of this data, you need to add another step type inverted comma, comma, inverted comma, and just type upper. It will show you the upper half of your plot. Sorry. There is space, remove space, and run again. As you can see, it gives me the upper plot, upper portion of this plot. Okay. If you want to show the lower part, just click on lower and run this code. You will get the lower part of this code. Okay. Now we need to apply all this upper and lower on all type of plots and check and share this part within WhatsApp group. If you have any question uh, related to today class, or if you are facing any errors, uh, you can share your screen. If okay, please type done within chat. Okay, now you need to do practice uh, on Pycus data set as well as uh, uh, on your own data set or your own research data. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, in our next class, we will learn how to edit a uh, Till today, we have learned how to read and write a script. Uh, in our class, today class, till today class, we have learned how to read and write our code in our uh, next class uh, we will learn how to edit a code if you have a code and you want to perform similar analysis by using this code then how to edit this specific code okay thank you allah hafiz thank you doctor see you